get a bed just over here. That's a nightmare. All right, ready? Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to Massachusetts and sometimes Connecticut and Rhode Island. Best, best of the week on Craigslist. That was good. <laughs> Pretty good. I like that. <laughs> you can start first. All right. Um, best of the week. I'm gonna. Which one do I want to go with first? Let's work our way up. <clears throat> so, first one I want to highlight, Jam Petals, uh, Waterfall, Chorus, and Vibrato. Um, that is in East Hartford, Connecticut. Jam Petals are awesome. Um, made in Greece. They have, they look cool. I mean, the paint jobs on them are awesome, and it's just a super high quality, you know, Chorus and Vibrato pedal that, to be honest, you don't, see all that often around here so if you can find one for a good price on craigslist i think that's worth going after yeah you never see you never even see pedals like that uh, for sale typically no so that's always a cool sign uh all right i've got uh some dude in bolton uh i emailed him a little bit i think he was an engineer uh, i don't know if he was retired or not but he's got three clone up uh three clone amps up i think they're actually all gone uh the one i'm talking about is a fender bass man clone uh Man, that's cool. He's got the Jensen speakers in it. He built his own cabs out of oak. Uh, who needs a stupid Fender logo on it, man? That's awesome. It's so cool. And he had a, uh, a JCM 800 clone and I think a Fender Champ clone. I'm pretty sure they're all gone. So good for that guy. Yeah. Cool amps, too. Uh, speaking of amps, um, so I'm not sure. I, I don't know this town. I think I found this one out of, uh, oh, this was in Hartford as well. But it says it's out of Amston. I don't know if Amston, that's... Amston, Connecticut? Amston, Connecticut? I, I don't know. Never I don't know much about Connecticut. Um, anyway, it was listed in the, in the Hartford section. Um, a Music Man 212, 75-watt combo amp for $375. It's probably long gone. Probably long gone. Music Man amps, though, are awesome. Anytime I've ever come across one, I'm like, ah, oh, these are great, and they're very affordable, and this one is particularly affordable. Yeah. Um, you know, for an awesome 2x12 combo amp shit and if it's if there's something's fucked up on it 375 oh just pay someone to go over it and you're gonna put 100 bucks into it maybe again and then you have still an awesome amp for dirt cheap yeah i thought that was a uh, definitely a good one who cares if it's uh, a little messed up uh i got some wild uh in lemonster mass uh some dude's got a restored uh new england organ company gothic pump organ uh i don't know how you'd get this out of his house or into <laughs> yours um but these things are cool, man. If you get them and they work uh, and you have space for it and you're weird like that, it's perfect. Uh, and shit, you probably get it for free. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> um, all right, last one for me. So this one was out of Boston. Um, 79 Fender Hardtail Stratocaster. So here's the deal. I love Hardtail Strats. I'm always chasing Hardtail Strats. I'm trying to, you know, it's just a thing. Um, the late 70s Fender Strat, you know, Fender in general in the late 70s doesn't have the best reputation, but I mean, I think that's a little overblown in my opinion. I've, I've played some and, you know, they're, they're really good guitars and the 70s stuff you get for, you know, a really affordable price compared to other vintage Fender stuff. This particular one um, was refinished. The refinish was a little wonky. There's some pictures where he takes the pick guard off and it seems like the the color goes around the out, out guard of the pick, uh, or outline of the pick guard. Who cares? I mean, it is what it is. It was a 79 body and neck. Uh, the pots were dated 74 and the pickups were 75. So, I mean, a little, bit of a you know, a little bit of a parts caster, but, you know, all stuff from the from the correct era, you know, and it was priced good. So, you know, I think it was around 1400 bucks. So, I mean, come on. You can bump them down a little bit for those wild ass things, but yeah. Probably, but still, I mean, if I see a hardtail Stratocaster that's in decent shape, it's probably going to go on my best of, so. It's probably better than any Strat I've got, so. <laughs> Alright, uh, last one up for me. Uh, in Southbridge Pass, man, there is a Tweed Blues Jr. for 300 bucks. Uh, those things should be going for 450, 500. Uh, even the, the fucking regular ass Blues Juniors are going for 500, and these Tweed ones have upgraded speakers, so. They're great. I've got a Blues Junior and I've been using it for years. Yeah, yeah. he has a regular ass one just with his own upgrades. I think rich. Man. Yeah. Worst of the week? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> okay. good. Worst of the week. Out of Chicopee Mass, we've got T. 
two J Terser Gold Tops. A Les Paul and a Stratocaster Gold Top. J Terser brand. Um, out of Chicopee. How much are they going for? Uh, he's got three fifty for both of them. You know, that's a fun price for two Gold Top J Tersers. Uh, and he says at the end of it, make me an offer. They might be yours. <laughs> Good luck if you're interested in some J Tersers. There you go, Chicopee. Uh, <laughs> all right, I think that's it for this week. Uh, as we said, this is going to be a weekly, weekly or bi-weekly show. Um, that's it. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. All right. Hey, thanks, Craigslist. Thank you. All right, bye.